Good morning, and welcome back to a special Thursday edition of Miniature Monday here on Gaming with ADHD. Today we are going to take a look at the Clan Heavy Battlestar for Battletech from Catalyst Game Labs. Now, if you've watched any of my previous unboxing videos, you know that I am a big fan of the technical readout series of supplements. And so what we're doing in this video is we're going to take a look at the miniatures that we get in the box and compare it to the art from technical readouts back from their first appearance all the way up through the most recent version of the art that I could find. So, uh, before we get started, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do have a lot more of these figures to review. I also have some ideas for additional Battletech content that I want to make. And so if you like what you see here, I would absolutely appreciate a like on the video. And obviously, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know which of these figures were your favorite and, you know, uh, yeah, whether you're picking them up or whether you prefer older versions of the miniatures. You know, let me know. But with that being said, let's get into opening the box and taking a look. So, this is the Heavy Battlestar uh, that was released as part of the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. Uh, let's see, because it is a Clan Star, we get five mechs <clears throat> out of the box. Uh, in this case, we have a Turkina, a Kingfisher, the Crossbow the Ebon Jaguar, and the Huntsman. So, we've got all five of our mechs here. Uh, look pretty good so far. But we also have the cards that come in the pack as well. So, each pack, as you might be aware, contains a card, or two cards for each mech. One represents the Alpha Strike rules, so basically simplified rules for playing uh, Battletech uh, without all of the minutia. Uh, personally, I am a, a fan of the minutia. I have not played Alpha Strike yet, but we will get there. Now, you do get two versions, so we've got a Huntsman Prime and an A variant, even Jaguar, and it's A variant. Crossbow Prime, a variant, Kingfisher, a variant, Turkina, and it's a variant. Now, in addition, you are also going to receive a pilot card for each mech. Now, these are two-sided, so you do get two different pilots. Uh, you have the uh, gunnery and pilot rating. You get the a uh, little bit of a bio for the particular pilot, uh, a little bit of background, and then you also get any special abilities that they bring to the game. So uh, you do get two versions. So we have a Nova Cat and a Diamond Shark for our Huntsman, a Smoke Jaguar, and a... Another smoke jaguar for the cauldron born or Eben jaguar. We've got a jade falcon and smoke jaguar crossbow. A wolf and ghost bear kingfisher. And a jade falcon and jade falcon turkina. So, those are our unit cards. But, obviously, that's just a small part of it. So, let's get in to looking at the art. So, our first one is going to be the 95-ton Turkina. Now, this is a big guy, so hopefully he fits in to the camera okay. Uh, this is a 95-ton mech making its first appearance in Tech Readout 3058, which you see on the screen here. So, a uh, little bit of an odd design. The, the, the legs and waist here, I mean, not quite sure what's coming down between the legs there, but 
interesting none the least. Um, looks a little off. Uh, sort of has kind of a Robbie the Robot look and feel to me um, because of these uh, the the squishy tube arms, for lack of a better way to put it. But this is the only other piece of art that I did find for it um, that I wanted or that seemed to come from a tech readout or a source book, um, and this is our Ill Clan version. This one I actually. Uh, you know, like <laughs> if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the new art, even though I have been a, a fan of Battletech for decades now. Uh, I do like the direction that they are taking the design. Uh, I, I like that they've got they've gotten away from sort of the hose looking uh, design for the arms. Um, I think they actually did pretty well on the uh on the sculpt itself to make it actually look uh you know very much like the art um you know it's a it's a solid sculpt it is a big piece of plastic so uh it definitely it definitely conveys that 95 ton feel uh that the mech is supposed to show off so our next mech is the Kingfisher. This is a 90 ton mech originally appearing in the Black Thorns scenario pack. So this is our original piece of art. Very simple, very blocky. Um, you know, not too bad. I'm not a fan of the feet here. Um, I, they just... While they look like they're they're providing a nice stable platform, um, it's also kind of odd because it's putting all of the all of the weight across the 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 back of the foot. So I have a feeling if this guy got hit uh, just right, he would fall over like it's nobody's business. But we then have this version, which was Tech Readout thirty fifty eight is when we got this one so still keeping the design but definitely looks a little bit better as far as how the feet are uh are positioned and how the legs uh are over top of it uh although uh not quite sure how it bends at the knee there yeah it's a bit bulky but we then get this one this is our current ill clan uh, we've got a little elemental down here by his foot. Uh, definitely, definitely a much better design. Uh, yeah, the the cockpit, the cockpit seems a little low. I wish it was a bit higher up on the mech. You know, kind of where these sensors are uh, at the top. Uh, but overall, it looks good. Uh, it looks like it's going to take a hit pretty well. So. That is our Kingfisher. All right. Next up at 65 tons, we have the uh, the crossbow, which oh yeah, they labeled the packaging a little strange. Unless that's supposed to be an R. Anyways. Um, all right. So the crossbow makes its first appearance in Bloodrite, which is a Mech Warrior RPG adventure about hunting down inner sphere remnants of a uh, a blood named warrior from Clan Wolverine, and the uh, the desire to for or to establish a blood right and a blood house in uh, I believe it is uh, now I don't remember but I want to find it uh, I want to say it's Steel Viper yeah Steel Viper are trying to establish a blood right house by eliminating these uh, these descendants now this is uh, the first appearance so it's a good piece of art really dark. Uh, doesn't let you see it very well, but 
you know, definitely gives that feel of you've got a whole lot of weapons in the arms, uh, you know, and, you know, pretty much nothing else. Uh, lots of armor, not a lot of seams on it uh, in this version. But then we go to this version, which we see in Invading Clans. Now, as I've uh, mentioned in other videos, Invading Clans was one of the first uh, clan source books. Uh, they did Ch Clan Wolf, Clan Jade Falcon, and then for the remaining clans that invaded the Inner Sphere, they did one book and just stuck just shorter segments for all of them, but did give a couple of mechs for each one. And this is the, uh, the version of the crossbow we got in that book. And then in the 3058 upgrade, I believe it is. Um, yes, 3058 upgrade, we get this version. Uh, so looks a little closer to the mech that we have now. Um, you can definitely see just like the, the actuators in the knee and the ankle. Um, <clears throat> you know, more armor plate seams. Uh, you know, the, you know, missile machine guns, whatnot in... Uh, in the in the hands and then that takes us to this version that we get from ill clan volume 17 the ill clan recognition guide uh, which you know gives us the art for the miniature and uh, I think they did really well at translating this piece of art into a miniature uh, I think it's a I think it's a good piece of art uh, and a a decent looking miniature. I'm not a big fan of the the, the bulbous arms, uh, but you know it's it's a pro it's an LRM rack. Of now I'm trying to count three six nine twelve. Yeah, it's about an LRM twenty rack in each hand. It looks like. Um, Yes, LRM 20 rack in each hand, so I'm not quite sure how else you're going to fit that in there appropriately. Um, but still looks a little little odd for a design. So not really my favorite, but not a bad design for a 65 ton mech. Uh, sort of an archer replacement, but uh, you know, I, I kind of prefer the archer version where it's got them you know in the torso as opposed to the arms. But that's just me. Yeah, not a bad looking mech, but not necessarily my favorite. All right, moving on, we get to the Ebon Jaguar or Cauldron Born. And this is a 65 ton mech originally showing up in the Luthien scenario pack. So Luthien in the clan invasion story, uh, Luthien is the capital of the Draconis Combine. And the clan, because it is above the uh, the Tukiad line, uh, basically the Smoke Jaguars did move to take the capital, but uh, the Draconis Combine basically brought in everything they could, uh, even hiring mercenaries, which they are loath to do, uh, and you know to defend their capital world. So this mech makes its first appearance in the scenario pack for the Luthien storyline. And then moving to this version, which we see in Invading Clans. Uh, looks a little off with this uh, this laser cannon on this arm, uh, but overall doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too bad. Uh, our next version, if I can find my mouse, uh, is this one from 3058. Yes, 3058. Uh, definitely has that look from 3058, but looks a little bit cleaner uh, than Invading Clans. So uh, definitely a better piece of art, in my opinion. Um, but obviously, art is very subjective, so you may like this one better. But then we get to this one from Ill Clan Recognition Volume 16. And I, I really like the look of this, and I really like how they translated it into the miniature. Um, it's, uh, it kind of has a bushwhacker feel to it, uh, but uh, obviously, you know, clan tech inspired, but 
definitely that feel of most of the art out of the the recognition guides, which I you know I keep saying it. I am definitely a fan of. So this is the Cauldron Born. I think they did really well with this one, and uh, I'm actually kind of excited to get this one onto the paint table. All right, and our final one is the Nobori Nin. This one is also from the Invading Clans source book, uh, which is where it made its first appearance. Uh, I believe as a Smoke Jaguar mech, uh, because uh, obviously with a Japanese name, usually that's going to involve something out of the Draconis Combine. Uh, Nabori Nin stands for Banner Bear, which it receives that name because of the small fin on its back, similar to a samurai banner bear. Uh, and, you know, that's where we get the name. Uh, we have this piece of art from 3058. Uh, not too bad as far as, uh, as far as adapting, uh, upgrading the art. Uh, the one point I wanted to make about this piece of art this is the only one that I can think of where they sort of did the front on blueprint style view that you saw for the early uh, the early Omnimex out of the 3050 tech readout. You didn't really see that style of art uh, used later on. So uh, we then get our upgrade for uh, for this version of the Nubori Nin, which is a little bit closer, uh, has that central you know, antenna fin thing going on. And then our final version of the Huntsman here out of Ill Clan Volume 12. Um, overall, uh, I actually really like how they adapted this one. Uh, the first version kind of had a very cartoon feel, uh, but this one, I, I really like where they went with it. Still actually keeps a lot of those design features uh, the missile rack here on the right shoulder, uh, the missiles in the left forearm, um, but it's it's a much cleaner style. Um, I, I know from talking to the art director that they are doing a lot more 3D art lately and then translating that into two-dimensional art. Um, and so I think that's why we're seeing a lot of these good translations from the art to the miniature like this one, I think actually captures uh, captures the pose and the styling pretty well. Uh, it's leaned a bit farther back than I would like. Um, like the art looks like it's it's more of uh, a leaning forward, but the way that the front leg is positioned um, just seems seems a little odd. But over, you know, doesn't really take away from the the art or, or from the sculpt, in my opinion. Um, it's still good. I'm, you know, I just, I'm still going to be happy to get this one on the table. So, uh, that is our collection of the, uh, the, where did my box go? The clan heavy battle star. Uh, if, you know, let me know what you think down below, which, you know, am I wrong on some of the, my opinions? Um, you know, which is your favorite? What would you, you know, which one would you like to get painted up? So if you like what you see, please do give the video a thumbs up. I do have an affiliate link down below. Um, if you like purchasing your Battletech manuals in PDF, um, I recommend Drive Through RPG. They are not paying me to say that, although it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of a kickback, um, and I do appreciate it when anybody uses it. So uh, yeah, again, thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you next time.